Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Today we continue our lesson about acidic alkali and neutral substance. Okay, beside litmus paper, we also can test the properties of substance by using our senses of taste and touch. Okay, please look for these three picture. Okay, look for the first picture. This lemon tastes sour, right? Picture number two. This cabbage tastes bitter. Picture number three. This water tastes tasteless. Actually. Actually, most acidic substance taste sour and have burning sensation when touched. Okay, most acidic substance taste sour and also have a burning sensation when touched. All right. While the alkaline, while the alkaline substance taste bitter. Okay, taste bitter. All right, taste bitter and feel slippery when touched. Okay, most alkaline taste bitter and feel slippery when touched. All right. Neutral substance have different tests, such as tasteless, sweet, and salty. And neutral substance also may feel slippery or cause when touched. Okay, let's look for a conversation between the teacher and the student. What about coffee? It tastes bitter, but when it tastes with a blue litmus paper, the color change to red. Bitter substance not always alkaline, and sour substance are not always acidic so remember the bitter substance are not always alkaline and sour substance are not always acidic all right let's continue our lesson about acidic alkaline and neutral substance around us the acidic alkaline and neutral substance around us other than food these substance are used in field of agriculture medicine health and industry all right so for agriculture here Father, why do we need sprinkle agricultural lime on the soil? The agricultural lime is alkaline and reduce soil acidity. All right. For medicine, a web sting is alkaline. Medicine may be applied to the area of the sting as the first aid. All right. Number three, household products. Mother, how can I get rid of this slippery feeling from the bleach? Rinse your hand with tamarind, then the slippery feeling will disappear. A substitute beside litmus paper we also can test acidic and alkaline properties of substance using other substance as indicator okay let's test exploring substitute for litmus paper okay the apparatus and materials need here dropper petri dish lime sodium bicarbonate turmeric extract purple cabbage extract and hibiscus extract so this is the step here number one add 5 ml of lime extract to one petri dish and 5 ml of sodium bicarbonate solution to another number two Put a drop of turmeric extract in both petri dish and observe the color change. Record your observation. Number three, repeat step one and step two using purple cabbage and hibiscus extract. Number four, test all acidic and alkaline substance other than the lime extract and sodium bicarbonate solution. Number five, record the observation of any color change. Again, okay, discuss it. Okay, everyone, please watch this video to how to conduct these activities. Today, I am going to show you how to test the presence of acid and alkali in substances using turmeric, purple cabbage, and hibiscus extract. The substances that we will test today are lime juice for acidic substances and sodium bicarbonate for alkaline substances. Firstly, we will test the substances using turmeric extract. Turmeric extract is produced by blending the turmeric using a blender or by dissolving turmeric powder in water. Let's test the two substances using turmeric extract.
the change in color of the extract. If it is an acidic substance, the solution will not change color and remain yellow, whereas if it is an alkaline substance, the solution will change to orange. Secondly, we will test these substances using purple cabbage extract. Purple cabbage extract is produced by blending the purple cabbage, sieving and filtering the extract. Let's test the two substances using purple cabbage extract. Observe the change in color of the extract. If it is an acidic substance, the solution will change to red. Whereas, if it is an alkaline substance, the solution will change to blue. Thirdly, we will test the substance using hibiscus extract. Hibiscus extract is produced by boiling hibiscus flowers, then sieving and filtering the water. We use the water for testing after it has cooled down. Let's test the two substances using the hibiscus extract. Observe the color change of the extract. <laughs> if it is an acidic substance, the solution will change to red. Whereas, if it is an alkaline substance, the solution will change to green. Okay, that's all from me for today. Thank you. Bye.